guys, this is Sam on Tech Geek. Today I'm going to review Firefox 3 Beta 5. Here, I'll just go back here. Firefox 3 Beta 5 is a lot faster than Beta 4 and a lot more stable. But it still doesn't live up to the quality of many other standards. It does a pretty fast job of web browsing. As you can see, I can virtually go through in a second, and I'm on a one megabit connection. As you can see, very nice job. One thing I don't like, though, up here on top, let me see if you can see it. There's a IE kind of deal going on there. This button, the back button, is just as big, just like it would be an IE7. And this one's smaller and comes off it, just like an IE7. I don't, do not know why Firefox is copying Internet Explorer, because that's one thing they never wanted to be. They didn't want to be a clone of Internet Explorer. They just want Internet Explorer's popularity. So, let me just get this set back up here. Move this. I know I shouldn't be fiddling around with the camera while I'm trying to make a movie. There you go. So there, it's a lot more stable, but I have a few complaints. Some things on Facebook won't work. I can't really determine the reason why Flash Player runs fine and everything else. But for some reason in Facebook, when I try to do a comment and add like a special thing, let me see, watch. I'll try to find an example. Also, Facebook seems to lag, so let's try to use the force. As you can see here, it took about five or six seconds to put it up. Sometimes it doesn't do it, sometimes it does. It really depends. Flash Player seems to be a bit buggy. The audio can go on the fritz sometimes. And it's, but remember, it's a beta, so let's go back over here. So, let's take the acid test, shall we? Acid 3. As you can see, it gets a 71 out of 100 on the acid 3 test. It's pretty good, but not that stable. Firefox 3 seems to crash a lot. And when I mean a lot, I mean a lot. Oh, on the Mac, anyway. On Linux, I've had no virtual, no problems with on, on Ubuntu. It's fine. I didn't see any problems with, the tr with Firefox 3 in crashing. But it tends to be a lot slower and can use a lot more pings and cause latency than it does on a Mac. So I don't know what really causes that. It just does it. YouTube videos play fine. Let's play one of mine here. It works pretty good with the new YouTube player beta, except for sometimes the beta on the YouTube player conflicts with the browser and I am unable to press buttons. I have no idea what causes this, but it usually happens after I record a video with quick capture. I don't know if that has anything to do with it screws up the flash player. And it and it plays videos well. It also plays videos well in the expose, which the Firefox 2 didn't do too well at. Sometimes it would do pretty good, and sometimes it wouldn't, so that's a big improvement there. The book, the RSS feeds, uh, I don't really like them, but what you gonna do? It's alright, it's just not my favorite. So, the RSS on the new one, I don't care for. 
The bookmarking system is a lot cooler. You could just bookmark up here and put this little star. The drop down menu is a little too big for my opinion, but it's still pretty good. The organizing system is as good as ever. History is alright. Tool, you know, download section. I, it has an option now in the preferences that I like where you can put in my download stack. It's pretty good so far. I love it a lot. And you can also edit specific applications to use specific things. As you can see, I can choose which sound uses QuickTime, which movie uses QuickTime, what kind of movie, what kind of podcast. The tabs, I still find them a bit disappointing. Watch, let me see. I gotta adjust this again. Looks fine. As you can see up here, I have the Acid 3 in a tab. Unlike um, Safari, I can't really drag it out and it makes a new window. It actually refreshes the page, which could be good or bad. If you accidentally about I accidentally clicked and dragged it once, and it refreshed the page on me, and I had something important I was typing in there. So that may cause a problem if you're switching from Safari. It's a little, it's a little, it's fast on the Mac, but on Linux, it is painfully slow sometimes. I have no idea why, especially since my Mac uses a wireless connection while my Linux computer uses a direct. I have no real reason for it. Otherwise, though, it's a great and stable browser. Browser, I really recommend downloading it. If you love Firefox, you'll love it. And just give it time. The full version of 3 should be brilliant. I really think they should change the look of it, though. Alright, later.